Hi everyone, thanks for watching my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to um, use LED to improve the look and feel of your uh, Gumpla. So uh, for LED, first of all, you have to use, you have to buy LEDs. So you can buy it from Amazon or you can buy it from somewhere like uh, Evan Design. So uh, these are some Evan design. Um, these are great LEDs. Uh, they have different size, like um, pickle um, size. They have light nano, um, and uh, you can go to their website and, and see which one you like. But these are what uh, called zero four zero two, I believe, um, PY SMD LED. So they come with different color. This one is a warm white. And this one is a red color, green, blue, and white. Okay, so they come pre-wired, so you don't have to do any soldering at all. Uh, all you have to do is to cut the wire after you have wire through your uh, gun plug, and then just connect the, the wire to your power source. So other than LED, you need to have power source. Uh, what you need is like uh, this, all this LED are uh, three watt. So you need to have three watt power, something like a corn side battery, uh, like this, like this uh, CL2032, or something smaller, um, uh, like this size. This is called 1632, I think. Uh, you can use a battery holder like this to hold your corn size battery and power your power your gun plug. You can hide in this this battery is uh, much smaller and you can hide inside backpack of your gun plug easily. Um, this one probably you you can hide this inside your gun plug. You have to uh, wire it externally. And I also use something like a USB power. You can cut any of your USB and then get the positive and negative wire and you can power your gun plug. But keep in mind that this LED, this um, USB power uh, usually th uh, 5 watts. So you have to um, con step, step down or convert them to a 3 watts. I'm going to show you a step down uh, um, regulator that I use. Uh, in, I'm going to link it below as well. Um, so why I use the USB? Uh, because um, I, I power a lot of my Gumpla and one of these USB power can power like 20 or 30 LED easily. Um, and if I use a corn size battery, it will drain my battery in less than a day or two. So uh, these are much easier to control. I can I can plug it into a smart uh, power source, so I can um, time it, you know, schedule it every day to turn on my all my LED um, from nine to five, something like that. So these are much easier to to power your. Um, you need to have something like this. These are called uh, Micro JFT 1.25 uh, connectors. So it comes with the male and the female. So um, you can easily unplug it, change your power source to use a coin size battery or change it to a USB uh, power. Uh, very flexible to use um, so all you have to do is connect all your uh, leds to um, the connector and then when you want to switch you can just switch the connector easily these are the uh, step down um, regulator so it has a uh, voltage in voltage out and the ground this is what you use to uh, convert your USB power 5 watt down to 3 watts so uh, safely so you can use uh, your USB power to power all your gun plug. Um, okay 
you need to have like this drill bit, micro drill bit. Um, I have this like 0.3 to 1.6 mm for uh, you know drilling my gun plug. Normally, I use like 0.3 to 0.5 to drill uh, inside some of the place inside my gun plug so I can wire uh, and route my wire through the gun plug. Um, yeah. Um, I also, you know, create something like this. Like this is a um, triple A battery uh, holder. This is two triple A, so 1.5 watt plus 1.5 watt with three watt. And I have a on off switch. I connect it to the connector that I showed you earlier. So I can easily uh, use this to power or test my, my Gunpla LED. I also have something like this. Now I can connect this together. And then I just clip it to the positive and negative of my wire and test the, the LED. Or can test all my uh, LED inside the Gunpla easily. Okay. All right, today I'm going to show you uh, how I uh, modify this uh, gun cannon with LEDs. So uh, I just finished uh, scraping this gun cannon. So usually I, I test fit my LED first and then I repaint it. And then after I repaint, I will uh, put my LED back in. But I first of all, I have to design where I put the LEDs. Um, so for this gumpler, I think I'm going to put the LED uh, inside the, the cannons, you know, in the visor here, uh, in this yellow fence, and maybe like the back uh, booster here. I might put something at the bottom of the feet as well. All right, I think that's about, that's about it. Okay, okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to take it apart. So let's do the head first. Um, so for the head, I'm going to put it um, inside the, the visor. So somewhere, um, so somewhere in here. So here's my LED, I'm going to put it around here, so I'm going to drill a hole uh, on this white plastic here. What I'm going to use is a 0.3mm drill bit somewhere in here, okay. So. Somewhere around here. Make sure it is it is center. Okay.
going to do a small hole as well here to run the wire through it. So after this, I need to route the cable through the neck. Okay, and I can also do a hole here. Okay, so now let's put a LED inside the cannon. I'm going to run through all the wire through the middle hole. So I need to drill a bigger hole. I'm going to add two light here. Before I do that, I'm going to like this a little bit I'm going to separate all the negative wire. So on the backpack, I'm going to put a connector uh, right in the middle of it. I can power my um, all my LEDs from here. So I'm gonna put it here. Um, and then the, put two more LED here. And then run the wire through the backpack. And then go 
return to where the oil or the LEDs are. So I'm going to cut a hole here. So now I just connect all the wire um, together to this power source. So all I have to do is to connect this connector here. Connect it here and then just turn it on. That's it. I'm going to take all the LED out and then do the uh, painting and then put it back and then cut cut this wire shorter uh, you know, fit it inside that's all right now it's just they are just too long okay all right thank you thanks for watching leave me any comments question below please thank you